Good morning, Cardinis RJ, back with another video. So let's get to it. These random Mike Schmidt item of the day. 1981 All-Star Game program. Game was held in Cleveland, you can see there. So why is this the Mike Schmidt item? It doesn't have them on the cover, it doesn't have them on the back, but it is where you can find all of the stickers. Uh, they're really not stickers. They're just inside the early 80s All-Star Games. They put out these little, um, essentially, cards of the uh, various American League and National League players. That's the American League set. And then further on in the back is the National League set of little player cards. Mr. Schmidt is up there. But I did not have these at all. I, I don't have these in a loose fashion. In other words, I don't have a... Uh, a Mike Schmidt cut from this thing. So this, in my way, is my way of saying I have, I have a uh, a um, Mike Schmidt All Star Game program sticker because or, or you know, item because I have the program. So that's how I'm looking at it and calling it a Mike Schmidt item. All right, just saying. Today's random baseball item of the day. Another little thing I picked up. I my my LCS had a whole bunch of these on the table for five bucks, and it when one. I had a long time ago sold and uh, picked up again. I'm a little sad because the one I had, I actually had it in an album. Like this this product comes with a, uh, a little coupon you can send away for the album. And I had sent away for the album and I had my set in a full album. Nice and looked pretty, but this one just came in the box from 1993. Upper Deck Diamond Gallery box set. 36 cards. Those are your uh, individuals who made the set. Um, very holographic looking. You know, Upper Deck was big. There's a lot of people big into holograms back in the, um, uh, what I want to say, early um, 90s. A lot of people cranking out holographic cards and whatnot. I was trying to find somebody, but I couldn't find them. Let me just stick with Tin Salmon here. Let me see if I can't get the light to strike. There you go. So there's the uh, pretty hologram in the background there. Otherwise, it just looks like that. And, uh, you know, your better players of the day. You have this little header card, which is another checklist, serial numbered of the set. And in the back was this thing you could could have sent away for this and get this cool little album uh, to hold your uh, cards. And I actually did that at the time I sent away and got that album. Very excited to have had it. But there's your uh, Robin Yount. Get the light just right again. Griffey's in here somewhere since he was the the star player of the day. Let's let's skip back to Griffey. Here's Griffey. And there's the uh, awesome hologram that goes with Griffey. Let's get the colors just right. Here's Ripken. Do, 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 do. Hard to get the colors just perfect, but there you go. So again, it's a really, it's an awesome little box set from Upper Deck. Really just holds no value today. Um, as most things from the junk wax era hold no value, but that means it's easy to acquire uh, a product with all kinds of awesome Hall of Famers. Throw it in your uh, collection and, and say you have it. So anyway, uh, today's trivia question. Um, <coughs> sticking with those... Uh, Famous feats and obscure questions surrounding them. So, everybody knows the Bobby Thompson story. The shot heard around the world. The um, 1951 playoffs with the Giants and Dodgers. Uh, New York City was absolutely in a tizzy. And since New York City was the, um, the cultural hub at the time, Anybody who was any everybody was in New York City. That's why so many so much of the world revolved around what happened in New York City. The whole sporting world was on edge as they played a three game playoff, and obviously Game Three ended with a uh, the dramatic walk off home run. In fact, the Dodgers went into that bottom of the ninth inning up four to one. Bobby Thompson hit a three run shot, not a grand slam, to win it. Uh, they actually scored a run earlier. But when Bobby Thompson did hit it, it was a three-run shot. My question to you is, 
name the two players who were on base. That would be a little tricky because one of them was a pinch runner. So that's your question. Name the two players who were on base when Bobby Thompson hit his dramatic called shot and scored a pen of Bobby. So uh, send me an email with the right answer. You could possibly win these two cards, two more cards from my uh, Topps 2003 gallery, the extras I had, Chuck Klein, Kirby Puckett, 2003 Hall of, or Topps Gallery Hall of Fame edition. Two legendary Hall of Famers in my mind. <clears throat> so all you got to do, like I said, send me an email with the correct answer. I will include my email in the description below along with the repeat of that question you will have today and tomorrow to answer. We will pick a winner on Sunday. All right. Good luck to everybody on this one. Today, what I want to show off, I'm absolutely ecstatic that I came, I stumbled across this at my LCS. This is why I go to my LCS, uh, not every weekend, but multiple times, you know, at least twice a month to see what he has on his $5 table. Because what I found, I don't understand how he priced this at five bucks. Maybe it really is just worth $5, but to me, it's worth a lot more than that. I found in a little baggie the full set. Because I went through this already, and it is a complete set of the 1984 Fun Foods pins. Yeah. There is 133 in this set. And this little baggie had every one of them. I'm going to put it there. I pulled some of the more, I want to put about five of the more notable players. So uh, show them off to you right now. So this is from 1984. Here is, let me see if I can get that good in here. Tom Seaver. He's on the White Sox at that time. That's what the front looks like. Had the name up top, team down the bottom, and also a picture in the middle. It was an actual pin here, a little pin mechanism you can see. And in the back, it would say, Fun Foods, number whatever. So he was number 15 out of 133. He was a pitcher. And it lists the ERA for pitchers. His ERA that year was 395. Had the MLB logo at the bottom. It's an absolutely fantastic little thing. And I got all 133 of them. So that's Tom Seaver. Show off a couple more. I pulled six total for your viewing pleasure. Dave Winfield. I will say that there is a Don Mattingly, so technically this pin would be a Don Mattingly rookie pin when you see the Don Mattingly one. Dave Winfield. He was pin number one, actually. Number one out of 133. Just says, again, he played the outfield, and it lists the batting average they had that year. That's how they differentiate players, uh, position players and pitchers. Position players, they had the average, the pitchers. They did the... Um, uh, ERA. So here's one, Mr. Eddie Murray, Baltimore Orioles. Let me get a little closer here. Eddie Murray, Baltimore Orioles. He was number 119 out of 133. Played first base, average 306. And again, I got all 133 of these off the $5 table. I was, I was so stoked. I couldn't believe it when I saw that. And I almost missed it. I wasn't looking. And then suddenly I was like, wait, is that what I think it is? And it sure as heck was. So George Brett, he was number six, third base, average 284. Come on now, George, you're better than that. 284. <laughs> I, like, I can't tell you how thrilled I was to see all 130. I, and I, you know, I, you took a stab. You see a bag full of the pins. You've got no way to know. That's the whole set. So I took a stab. It looked like most of them, if not all of them. Maybe there were some duplicates, but I definitely wanted to uh, take it home. I went through every pin painstakingly, and it was every one. It was every one. This is the Nolan Ryan's pin here. Nice looking Nolan Ryan on the Astros. Number 109 pitcher with a 304 ERA. And then lastly, of course, who else would I show off at the end but Mr. Michael Jack Schmidt. I actually had this pin already in my collection, loose. But now I have the whole set, and I can't tell you how thrilled I am 
to have the entire set. So there you go. That is my showcase for today. Always go out and support your LCS people. Always support your LCS. You never know what you might find. If you've got a really good LCS, they got these little grab bag tables or bins. And the one I have up here in Quakertown, it's just fantastic. He's got like five tables out front. Everything on the table is like five bucks. And it's some of it's crap. But, you know, for a guy like me who likes random baseball oddities, I'm snagging things left and right all the time from him. So, yay, LCSs, all right? That's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please consider like, subscribe, comment, and all that jazz. I really do appreciate your support as I try my best support everybody else in this great card community, all right? Thanks for watching. We've got one more on Friday. Trivia and prizes and giveaways. So come back for that. Take care.